In this video, we're going to try and understand collisions, and therefore we need to understand the B box property. So the B box property is a property of the canvas, and so um, we need to think about the canvas. But here, imagine we have got a square here, um, and imagine we've got it on a graph, and of course, we can actually recognize the coordinates. For example, this corner here is three, it always goes for the X position first, two, 13, eight. So it actually does the coordinates of this part here and this part here. So three, two, 13, eight. So my coordinates, in this case would equal my canvas whatever the canvas is called dot b box and i've got a ship there and to print those coordinates i would actually get these coordinates so we can see here that three two thirteen eight so we can see it's the x and the y the x2 and the y2 so how does it work when we've got two elements involved? Well, we can see here that we have some kind of collision. Basically, when this corner is inside of the X and this X, and inside of the first Y and the next Y, when that position there is there, we could say that we have had a collision. So we can see here that this corner here, which is 8, 5, so 8, 5, is inside of the 2 and the 8, isn't it? So the 5 is inside of the 2 and the 8, and the 8 is inside the 3 and the 13. We could easily see that there is a collision here. When referring to B-box coordinates, we actually refer to them inside a square bracket. So this is the first coordinate, it's the X coordinate, so that one or that one. And this is the first um, set. So zero set is the X, the Y is the first one, the X2 is the second, and the Y2 is the third. So if we see this particular diagram here, where this corner here is inside the 3 and the 13 and inside the 2 and the 8. We see this corner here on this one is inside the 3 and the 13 and this, this side is also inside the um, 2 and the 8. So we've got to look for all of these things. We see that this side here is inside the 3 and the 13, and this side here is also inside the 2 and the 8. So this is B-box coordinates. So let's see how we do that in Visual Studio. So how do we actually uh, collide and create collision detection with B-box? So here is our object, and we've got an alien on the top in the black and a ship on the bottom in the blue. And you can see the X coordinates of zero and two and the Y coordinates of one and three. So the actual programming part is we use the canvas, whatever the canvas name is, dot B box, open brackets, and then the name of the object. That is the syntax for collecting the information. And we can put that inside a variable. So for example, the ship coordinates, that's the variable name, we could have called that anything we like, equals playground, and our canvas is called playground in this case, dot B box, open brackets, and then the name of the object, which in this case is my ship. Likewise, alien coordinates equals playground dot B box, open brackets, alien. So, Firstly, within the program, we need to create a little function called collision. So we do this by going define or def collision, open brackets, close brackets, and then a colon. And 
we then get the coordinates of the ship in the alien B box. So ship coordinates equals playground dot B box open brackets my ship and alien coordinates equals playground dot B box alien. This will run automatically so that the collision program will know where the ship and alien are all the time. Okay. Now we can determine if the alien touches or collides with the ship. If ship coordinates 2, which is this line here, so it's the x way, it's how far it is to the left and the right. If this is greater than the alien coordinates 0, so here's the alien coordinate 0. So if it's greater than, which in this case it is, and the ship coordinates, this one, 0. It's greater than, so this alien coordinates, this one here, is greater than this. So it's fitting in between the 0 and the 2, which it is. 0 is. And ship coordinates 1, so here's uh, ship coordinates 1, this line here. And ship coordinates 1 is less than alien coordinates 3. Well, here is alien coordinates 3. And so if this is less than this, which in this case it is, right? And alien coordinates 3 is less than ship coordinates 3. So here's ship coordinates 3 and here's alien coordinates 3. In other words, this space... This is higher, or in, in this case, it's lower than this. Then, print collision is on the front left, and playground coordinates equal alien.460,100. So this will actually force the alien back up into the uh, program. Okay? Finally, we need to add this program to the program that we want to react to it. So in this case, I will add it to the Alien Move program. So Alien Move, and here it is. I've added that collision um, program to it. Now, the other thing that we can do with this, that's the collision. That's going to tell if it's within there. We can actually add other things to it so that if it collides from the right or the left, it can actually do it. So let's see how this works in Visual Studio. So let's go, so we're going to define the program, define the collision, open brackets, and there we go. And then we're going to get the coordinates, so ship chords is equal to playground dot b box, open brackets, my ship. Okay, so that's the first part. Now I'm going to speed this up because I've already got these programmed in here. And then I want the alien coordinates to do the same thing. So B box alien. Make sure that we've got um, my ship actually set up. So my ship and alien. So going back down there, there's the first part of that program. The second part of that program was to actually check if there was a collision. And so I'm going to just put that in there. Now, if, and just put it back there, if this is the case, if those coordinates and those coordinates, which I've already explained, w do that, then print collision is to the front right and play the coordinates, um, shove it up there. The final thing that we need to do is we need to actually get this collision, this part here, without the double dots and without the define and put it inside the alien move program so that's where it is so it's before the before the end of that so now when I run it we can see that the alien comes down and as long as I get close to it see how it's it's colliding and we can see it's got the collision to the front right and up it goes, collision to the front right, and we can actually see that it's going back up. That's how we make collisions. 
Your job is to make your program work for this. See you later.